think this is the only feminist event I've been to where there's more dudes than girls. We're in Venice Beach at the Go Topless Parade, which is basically this movement to support women's rights to be topless wherever men can be topless. And that could be anywhere from in your backyard, your front yard, you're in your car, on the to beach. To Venice Beach. To Venice Beach. How many of you men out there are brave enough to put a nipple pasty on or wear a bikini top and actually feel what it feels like to have to cover up? Because totally. actually it's very natural to be topless. Have I gotten used to the gawkers? I'm a lot better than I was in the first couple of years. It was pretty overwhelming. There's so many dudes here, and they're just here taking pictures of girls. Yeah, right? it's it's pretty gross. Like there's so many guys here. Like everyone behind you right now taking photos yeah, like of that us. Dude. Yeah, like that guy. Yeah, shame him. <laughs> oh yeah, you got him. The most interesting thing, though, aren't the pasties and the nipples, but who is actually behind this feminist movement? But did you know that this specific Go Topless movement was started by a dude who's the leader of a spiritual cult, and he tells people that we are descended from aliens? This is a, a discrimination. And yeah. All my life I have been fighting against any kind of discrimination. All the top scientists of the world recognize we are very close to mass extinction, not only of human, but of everything alive on Earth. And so we have to save the planet. And show your nipple is a part of it, is part of changing the consciousness of every human being on Earth. I think this whole thing is so interesting because Basically, the Raelian movement is about UFOs coming to Earth. So this feminist movement, the Go Topless Parade, comes from UFOs. That's the very, very little part. Because, you know, UFO, okay, we see a UFO and your life is the same. That's not, what is important is not the UFO, it's what is inside. What kind of philosophy, what kind of a, a beautiful value they bring in our life. We never born with clothes. Right. Are born naked. Yeah. Even the Pope. This movement was started by a dude because he got the message from extraterrestrials. Does that make a well, difference to you? Um, no, because I think like overall the message is that like not only is it national, but it's also international that like the gender inequality of like what men can show their nipples or breasts and like women can. More dudes should be feminists. Like <laughs> yeah. it shouldn't just be a female movement about feminists. Like feminism is about being treated, you know, as an equal. Are you showing up just grabbing, grasping, gawking? Or are you truly here to support? To say yes, yes, more. As women start to bear their breasts on this boardwalk on this beach, chances are at the start, there are gonna be a lot of gawkers. Men, some of you, us, are gonna be watching. We're men, we're not babies and we're not animals. We'll get over it. The gawking will subside and we'll just accept it. Just last week, I sold one. The guy left looking very happy. Very happy. Oh yeah, I've been hooked up to one of those before. Yeah, actually. A um, fist. <laughs> you know, it takes a few years to get there. Right? You gotta get competitive, like bodybuilding, but stretching your asshole. Can you tell us one little known sex fact? The clitoris actually has like two legs that go down inside, so you can also stimulate the clitoris through labia as well.